So I'm Patrick O'Rourke for Mobile Surf, and we're checking out the Michael Kors Access smartwatch, the first smartwatch from Michael Kors. I actually kind of cheated a little bit, and I took off this portion of the box because it was really hard to get off. Um, anyways, this is the, I guess, fashion brand's first stab at doing a smartwatch. So as expected, the, the box is pretty serious. Um, it's very thick. Let's pop it open. Uh, right now I have the Apple Watch on, so I'll take that off so we can try that on when the time comes. Um, so we're gonna slide it out. Oh, it's stuck in there pretty good. It's got this like weird cushiony pillow thing under it. Okay, so we got it out. Um, it's very heavy. Got a rubber band or a elastomer, or I'm sure it's a special material of some sort. Uh, it, it looks okay. It looks like a smartwatch, but like you put it beside the the Apple Watch, for instance, and it's a little bulky. But I mean, it's a, a large men's watch, so it's kind of to be expected. Uh, and the strap looks pretty good, so. That's what it looks like. So let's run through the specs a little bit. It's got a digital display, runs Android Wear. Uh, it's stainless steel. The size of the actual body is 44.5 millimeters. It's obviously round, unlike the Apple Watch, which is square and a lot of, I guess there's a few smart watches that still adopt a square form factor like the Pebble. Um, and it's lug width, which is kind of a, a strange. I don't know, maybe this is a luxury brand thing it's only 22 millimeters so it looks like you might have to buy specific straps for it I'm not entirely sure um, it comes with a wireless charger which I'm sure we'll find in the box later and it has four gigs of onboard storage claims all day battery life um, and yeah so I, obviously they're not gonna go super into specs with processors and stuff like that because this is a luxury brand it's more about what the smartwatch looks like than anything so uh, let's turn it on well, comes with a charge, that's always good. So we'll put that to the side. Um, we'll go a little bit through the actual box itself. Okay. So that container thing's out. It's in here. We have a charger. That looks not unlike the Apple Watch charger, actually. Uh, I guess there's not much you can do in terms of chargers. This is taped on here, it looks, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna rip this cardboard. It's some pretty serious tape, like the serious box. Okay, so it looks like we got that kind of open. Wow, this is rough. Okay. Wow. And there's tape around this part of it? Okay, so ripped all that off. Basically destroyed the case for this. That's okay. So it looks very similar to the Apple Watch charger. Um, I believe it's also magnetic. Let's see. Doesn't look like it's magnetic like the Apple Watch charger, actually. Oh, it is, yeah. So it, it, there's a little bit of pull there. So yeah, the screen's on now. Um, it's Android Wear, obviously, so you're going through the same steps that you always would to uh, boot up an Android Wear watch and set it up. Um, but yeah, this, so we got the cord, the watch itself. What else is in here? We got quick start guide, Michael Kors access. Uh, who needs manuals, right? So let's put on the actual watch. See what it looks like. This is hard to do with one hand. I think putting on watches in general is, uh, difficult process, unless they're Velcro, of course, and the way Michael Kors is releasing a Velcro watch. Okay, so it looks like it's on my teeny tiny wrist. It looks positively enormous to me. Um, I don't know what that looks like to everybody on camera, but that's a crazy big watch compared to what I'm used to. Uh, I have the Moto 360, but I have the smaller version. Not sure the, mo uh, the millimeters, the, the smaller, supposedly uh, only for women's version, but I find it looks like a nice, a much nicer watch. It's it's much smaller and it's much nicer looking. So there you have it. That's the the Michael Kors watch. I'll put the Apple Watch beside it just so you can take a look, just to compare sizing. Um, 
Again, there's not many specs known for it because obviously this is a luxury brand. They want to talk about the build of the watch itself and it definitely feels luxurious, but it's also bulky and big. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'm Patrick O'Rourke from Mobile Syrup. Make sure to like our video if you enjoyed this. We're going to be doing more unboxings, I think, um, but we'll see. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching.